Panthers force the turnover. There you go. Panthers Valley Sports, Florida. See Ghost Team, Randy Moeller reporting. Katie Eagleson. Oh. Bennett! Oh. Or nothing can hey is. Jarvis has it. Up the boards it goes. Colin White gets a touch. Burns checks him. Board battle again. They go to a minute left. Los Dorina. Gets it to center. Colin White couldn't control. Jarvis right back in. Drops it off. Kokaniemi. Jarvis puts it in front. Shot towards the net goes wide. Jordan Stoll picks it up. Burns at the point. Stall. Damn, Pisper up 3 0. Gets it down to the goal line. Back it goes for Burns. Gets it towards the net. Blocked in front by Gunas and it lifted out of there. What work by the Panthers. Protecting the lead late. Down at 30. And seconds. blocking and shots too. Gunas gets a breath. So does Stall. Here comes Natchez. Reinhardt broke it up at the line. Puck is loose. Less than 20. Defensive effort by Florida tonight is grade A. Rondell towards the empty net. Sam Bennett. Bingo! He's got it! Look at that. He's only nine away from Lindy Ruff all time. Picks up a 40 save shutout, the third shutout of his young career. And Knight and the Panthers have won consecutive games since the first two games of the season. Well, if you want playoff type hockey and intensity and two great hockey teams, you just saw it and witnessed here. And the Panthers. They stayed disciplined and they're positioning defensively when the pressure was on in the third period with a two goal lead. Mark Stahl had a huge game off the blue line for the Panthers. A lot of block shots. Spencer Knight, incredible performance by him. And the Panthers celebrate with their fans. And Cousins gets the game winning goal. And his first as a Panther, you know, Spencer had those two shutouts last year. Remember against Ottawa and Anaheim, 17 and 27 saves. This was a different story. The pressure was on, and he was awesome. In great position all night long and terrific in the third when it was still 1-0. And, and it was. And, and Spencer Knight had the help of his teammates as well. You didn't see too many second or third opportunities off the shots from the Canes. Spencer Knight. Made the saves, the Panthers, like Gudis, was there to clear out those rebounds. The Panthers' uh, physicality in front of their own goal without taking penalties, very evident, and a big reason they come away with this win. Take a look at Spencer Knight's night. Here tonight, going for his second win in a row. And he was busy with 40 saves in this shutout performance. The Hurricanes threw everything at him. Look at the concentration and the body position. To make sure you can see that puck through a maze of players time and time again. He was excellent on his rebounds. 
and forcing Carolina to take some ill-advised shots and the frustration of those shooters from Carolina was evident as well. Great effort by Spencer Knight. Maybe the Panthers will ride this hot goaltender when the Edmonton Oilers come in next on Saturday. And impressive for the Panthers. They go 2-0 during the Matthew Kachuk suspension. He'll be back Saturday. And Aaron Ekblad's looming return Saturday. The Panthers are 6-4-1 since Ekblad left the lineup. Very impressive. Barkov, the second star, another terrific game for him, getting that goal to make it 2-0. But we know who the number one star is. Spencer Knight. He plays like a 10-year veteran. Nothing rattles this young goaltender. He was in the zone right at the very beginning of this game. Knight and the Panthers win it 3-0 over Carolina. Second straight win for the Cats and for Spencer. Personally, let's go to the bench. Here's Katie. Spencer, 40 saves, a shutout performance. What was going through your mind in between the pipes all 60 minutes? Uh, I don't know. I kind of just approached it like every other game. I mean, the guys played really well. It's like a good team game, and I also got a good result, so it was good. You were wise beyond your years. What allows you to stay so composed in those moments? I don't know. I think it's experience, maybe. You know, I, I think after a few times of you know, having adverse events, you can learn from them. And, you just become at ease with yourself, so. With this win, your head coach surpasses Al Arbor, uh, moving to six on the all-time NHL wins list. How would you describe his impact in the few months that he's been here? He's good. He's good. He, you know, he knows how to run the bench and, uh, you know, has a very calm uh, demeanor to him, which is really nice, so. And lastly, what can be said about these fans, especially showing up today, given the weather circumstances? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, I mean I'm not sure what the weather is outside, but yeah, thanks guys for coming. That's all. Oh, that, yeah, that's right. The hurricane, uh, I don't know if it's, it was a hurricane, but I know it's dropping a storm in the cold. Thanks, Katie. Bearing down close. That is a really good win against a really good team as the Panthers pick up the 3 nothing victory. We'll break it all down next on our Panthers Live post-game show, brought to you by Ford.